Right guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. I reckon this one's going to be special. It's short, it's only 2 minutes 23 seconds long, but it is jo Jordan Poyer, and he comes in at number 45 on the list of the top 100 players in 2022. I'm not sure if it's about his play, or if... No, it is about his play. I know, he's fucking dynamite out there, especially as a safety. But uh, he's certainly got a story, and so if we don't hear it within the video, we'll, um, we'll have a look at Wikipedia and just see what's up. But for now, let's get into it. I mean, he is... One, he's a leader of this team. Big drive coming up. Hasn't got the recognition that he's deserved. Jordan Poyer brings him down. He's definitely a top 100 player. Poyer is so underrated. Uh, he, he was a big reason why that defense really was a number one defense all season. You know, he can defend the run. Big hit delivered by Jordan Poyer. Great anticipation. Poyer made a spectacular defensive play. You know, you can see it on film. He's one of the best. No, no, I'm here, I'm here. Everything you got, man. Everything you got, let's go. He's been unbelievable for us. Knocking the ball out in the sideline, or he's rising up and, and picking the ball off and trying to return it. Picked off, intercepted by Poyer at the 40. And he gets oh. behind the drop. Let's go! Whenever I hear his name or the crowd roar, I look up. He's usually got the ball in his hand. He's just an all-around ball hawk. Intercepted, picked up by Poyer. He's as good as anybody else in the league at that position. Safety Jordan Poyer snagged five interceptions in 2021. I was gonna say, how many interceptions did he get? Jordan Poyer. Resulting in his first All-Pro nod and a top 100 appearance. Jordan Poyer seals the deal for the Buffalo Bills. He's made so many plays for us this year, and hopefully he starts getting the recognition that he deserves. We like that! He ain't just top 100, he's top 50. Stop sleeping! Hard, man. Stop sleeping! Hard. He's a guy that does his role, that does his part. Uh, does All right, I've got goosebumps again. Every time that happens, I have to tell you, right? Because if I didn't, I mean, what's the point in getting them? <laughs> if you can't share them, if you can't share that energy, that 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 um that just rush of adrenaline. I don't know what it is actually. I might have to Google it, but uh, for now, you know, whenever I hear something fucking cool, it happens. Does he make a lot of mistakes? Ball runners, ball hog, ball skills is all amazing there. But I would say that he's very smart. You know, he knows the game of football, and he's that guy. He's always right there, and he's not afraid to deliver a hit too. Jordan Shit, no. Poyer shot through there and dropped him. Jordan Poyer having an all-pro season this year at strong safety for the Bills. It's on us, man! We gotta go! Let's go! The intensity, the ball. He's gonna be a big part of that team um, going for a Super Bowl uh, run this year. But with that in mind, let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Jordan Poyer, there he is, 31 years of age. He's a veteran. 25th of April 1991, 6 foot even, 191 pounds, went to Oregon State, got picked up in the 7th round of the 2013 draft with pick number 218, went to the Eagles, then to the Browns for 4 years, then to the Bills from 2017 to present. He made his first first team All-Pro selection in 2021. So he's finally, finally coming into his own, right? There's a little bit of... Alright, so what have we got? 454 for the 40 yard dash. 30 and a half inches on the vertical, 9 foot 10 on the broad jump, 8 reps on the bench. Got signed to a four year, $2.22 million contract with the Eagles in 2013. But unfortunately, I don't think he made the team. And then he went to the Browns. Then to the Bills, they signed him on a four year, $13 million contract. And I'm assuming he's, he must have re signed recently. Oh no. March 19th, 2020, he signed a two-year contract extension with the Bills. Not quite sure how much it was worth. Let's have a look. Are we going to get some numbers here? No numbers. No numbers! That's fucking rude. I ain't going to lie, that's rude. Anyway, that's okay. Let's just have a look at his story here. Raised in Astoria, Oregon, by his mother, Julie Poyer, and stepfather, Fa'aleo Poyer. He has a brother named Jeremy and has never met his biological father. His biological father, Louis or Louis Dunbar, has had multiple stints in prison over the last 20 years. He's got a girlfriend who is now his wife, Rachel Bush, and they've had a baby girl named Aaliyah. Right, now this is the part that I was most interested in. Poya opened up about his struggles with alcohol. 
with a post on Instagram in March 2021, especially after a, battle, a, a bitter loss in the 2019-20 NFL playoffs. He'd stayed, he has stayed sober since March 2020 after realising the effects that his continued drinking would inflict on his family, career and health. Since then, Poya has devoted his time off the field to work with others struggling with alcoholism. He followed up with a piece on the Players Tribune in November 2021. Alright, so... There you go. There you go. And, a t you know, to think he'd been in the league for, like, what, eight years, still possessing this this alcohol addiction. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. But, to be honest, to look at him, he does look like a crazy motherfucker. I don't know why, but you can see that. You can see something there. All skills that he has... I think if you look at his statistics this year, I mean, it blows you away. He is set. Jordan Poyer finished him off. He just has consistently done this since he's gotten here in Buffalo. Hang on. One thing I did miss was the stats because they're not there. See, that's something I could easily edit in, but I'm not going to. Sorry, mate. He's only going to continue to get better. There you go, Jordan Poyer. What a, an absolute legend. Um, another fantastic video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I've taken a different um, approach to these videos, you know. I, d I don't want to be around here too long. I don't want to fucking talk shit, to be honest. I don't, I don't want to talk shit because at the end of the day, if I've got a 10 minute video, you guys only watch three or four minutes of it. And so I'm aware of that. I am aware of that. And uh, what that's uh, led me to do is to try and just uh, get into it as fast as possible and get out of it as fast as possible. In the next one, we're looking at Dak Prescott. This should be very interesting. Come back from a, a horrendous injury. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, I'm sure we'll find out. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.